Of course, after a live selling event, you can also repurpose the content that you created during the sales event. And that's a nice loop because you start selling and then you start actually using it as marketing material. And there are a couple of things that we provide and help you to effectively use your live event content to make it available for customers as a replay, for example, or, you know, even like creating like smaller snippets from it. So the first thing is that in the Flux Panda dashboard under each session, we record the live and you can download it and then you can, you know, edit it, make smaller clips from it or re-upload it for people to watch the replay. So that's a super handy tool, of course, you know, to like use the live selling event after it happened. And the other thing, don't forget, we have the product annotations functionality, which means that you can actually annotate the recorded session with the products as and when they were presented. So this allows people to watch the replay and also see the relevant product on the timeline so that they can continue purchasing it. And everything like the inventory and all those kind of like functionalities that we have, they continue working, right? So it's really an on-demand live show with the difference that I want to watch, I can watch it whenever I want. Um, and of course, you can also use this for any other video content that you have. Um, another thing that you can consider is to use a tool like a video editing tool. There are a lot of online tools. Uh, Pixart is one of them, you know, so you can use your live recording, upload it and create small social media clips with it. And then, you know, have maybe, um, I don't know, if you presented 10 products, you can end up with like 10 social media posts that like have some snippets about the product presentation or the fun moments uh, around that product. And that's a great way to, again, like repurpose the content and not just create like one recording afterwards, but like, you know, a bunch of like content pieces that you know, help you to fill your social media calendar and the other important thing um, is that you can even advance the player to a specific point in time by simply appending a small parameter to the url so as you can see here what i have i have a time underscore index equals the number of seconds that i want to advance and when i open the url or when i click on this link i will actually go directly to the section of the video um, on that time right and the way that you can figure out the seconds is simply like, you know, take the minutes, multiply by 60 and then put the remainder of the, um, the remainder of the seconds, you know, in, uh, on top of that. And then you have the number of total seconds, pretty straightforward. And you can then, you know, advance the video accordingly. And that's useful if you, for example, created some smaller snippets um, of each of the products, then you can still link to the entire live show using this technique with like multiple links, but then each link will go to a specific section of the video and show the respective product that you want to promote. And then, of course, don't forget to um, you know, expose this on your landing page. Um, you can either use the landing page that we provide by default or you can build your own landing page and have people you know, get access to the replays and the past content that you have produced. Because it's not just about the live, but also like, you know, having that content available for people to watch on demand.